Hello everyone, I'm here to talk to you about something that has really been weighing on my mind recently. So, you know how when you go to a movie theater, there's usually people who just really take you out of the experience? People who just disrupt you or just make going to the movies miserable? Well, I've had enough of them. People are always ruining the movie experience for me. And I'm going to talk about some of the worst experiences I've had at the movies. And then explain why, how I think movie theaters should change to, to make this less of a problem. Because it's getting to the point now where there's not even any reason to go to the movies. Because people are just so terrible and just completely ruin the experience. So, yesterday, I went to go see a movie. And, as you probably know... I like to go on my phone a lot, but you see, the thing is, when it's really bright out, or when there's a lot of light around me, I can't really see what's on the screen, because all the other light is drowning the light out on the phone. So, it's much better when you're in a really dark room, so the only light is the phone, so that you can see what's on the phone better. The only thing is, the dark is really scary, like really scary C you never know what is in the dark so i found that the best option t for this would be going to the movies to take out my phone you see because you're in a really dark room there's only like one other light so you can really see what's on your phone better and you see like only what's on your phone but also there's a bunch of people around you. Because, see, when you're in the dark at home, it's really scary because you're all alone. But at the movie theater, there's a lot of people around you, so you can sit next to them. They, they, can, they can hug you. They can give you a nice big wet kiss on the cheek and assure me that the flying spaghetti monster is not coming to get me. Despite what I know, I know a lot about the flying spaghetti monster. So, I was at, um, this one movie, this really scary movie. It's, it was a, it's a sequel to another really scary movie that came out, uh, not too long ago. I, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Now you see me too. I mean, have you seen Jesse Eisenberg in that movie? He's, he's bald. That is so scary. And it's just, oh, it's, it was just too much for me. So, I took my phone out, and this guy sitting next to me tells me to put my phone away, and that I'm distracting. I mean, can you believe the nerve on that guy? I'm just trying to check my Facebook updates, which there weren't any, but, you know, I'm just trying to check my updates and stuff, and this guy's telling me that I'm disrupting the movie or something, when he's the one who's talking in a very quiet whisper that nobody besides me can hear. I mean, really? Who does that? There was also the fact that I hadn't had dinner yet, so I had snuck in the spicy Taco Bell slam dunk, which, now that I think about it, its name is probably a reference to how fast it hits the bottom of the toilet. But anyway, I was eating the my spicy taco grand slam in the movie theater and this person sitting next to me told me that I should put my food away and that the loud incredibly loud crunches I was making were a distraction what so I decided I would just do what this dumb guy wanted and I put my phone away but the movie was just so scary I mean Jesse Eisenberg he's a freaky guy I'd like I give him, I nominate him for an Oscar for Scariest Bald Guy, previously held by Samuel L. Jackson in the Star Wars prequels. And so I decided that I needed to defend myself. I felt like Jesse Eisenberg was just going to crawl off the screen and, like, shove his bald head at me. And, oh, I just, it was scary. So I decided that the one thing I could do to protect myself is, next time he came on screen, I... I took my half-eaten um, spicy taco that was filled with hot sauce and I flung it at the screen to defend myself from scary Jesse Eisenberg. 
before he could crawl out of the screen. And it hit him right smack in the head. And it did nothing. It stained the screen and it did nothing. And people started to get mad at me for trying to defend myself. It's just... It's gotten to the point where I don't even want to go to movies anymore. People are just so annoying and disrespectful and ignorant that they just do whatever they feel like and don't care about people who are trying to enjoy the experience of sitting in the dark on your cell phone ignoring the scary stuff that's happening on screen. It's just... <sighs> the movie experience deserves your time and respect. So... I think we all know what to do next time we go to the movie theater. Thank you for listening.